Hello cheesers and welcome to a Forza race video and in this one I'm going to be talking about my impressions on the game now that it's been a little over a week uh yeah about a, about a week and a half that we've had Forza or that I've had it you could get some early access when you paid for like the hundred dollar version of the game or I think there was actually kind of a workaround with it where you could if you have a game pass where you could just buy the premium add-on and that would work too that only be like 30 bucks I didn't think it was worth it for five days early access and even though I have been having a lot of fun with the game still agree with that decision it just five days in the long run 30 bucks like I don't know 30 bucks could be spent elsewhere so but uh but yeah so we're watching a Homestead Miami race on the oval circuit there has not been a ton of races on the oval circuits available in the game in the in the multiplayer side of the game so far haven't been able to find too many races on them. So when they've popped up, I've really tried to make an effort to to race them. And so I did that here with the the early LMP. That's the the series as far as like the car goes, early LMPs. That's where we're racing here. And uh, yeah, track Homestead Miami. And I just really wanted to try it. I love all types of racing. And as like with the Halo guys will know, um, you know, love incorporating those types of racing, love following them. Uh, love all different types, but at the end of the day, my roots does or does revolve around uh, oval racing, and I still love it. And even though this game is mostly like road course stuff, and you know, I just I just love the oval racing. Oh, this was so right there, that dive bomb from that guy. Is that it? Watch the collision. Watch the collision. There it is. Avoidable contact. So right there. Now that I've done my intro. Again, like talking about, you know, like, like the oval racing, that's the roots, wanted to do that, that's the context of the race. I, now I want to talk about the game, first impressions on the game. That right there is a problem that should get fixed. So, um, there is a penalty system in the game, and it's like an automated penalty system, and to its defense, I, I think that it is one of the better ones in general that I've experienced in a game like this. It's not terrible, but it needs some work, it needs some tweaking, and... In particular, I think when it comes down to the collisions, I, I had so many examples. Now, that one right there was pretty bad, but I have even more examples from this session. If I upload any of these races that you'll see of people just absolutely cleaning me out and me getting the penalty for it and them getting off free for it. And as you can see, that guy did not get a penalty at all. I got two uh, minutes and or sorry, two seconds and a quarter penalty for him just absolutely kamikaze me into the wall. And then, hell, he even gave me an aggressive bump on the high side that got me in the wall right there. No penalty for him for any of these collisions, and here I am left with two seconds uh, off my time, which is really brutal, by the way. Like, especially if this is a competitive race on an oval, very brutal. There, I kind of drive over him because I just was, I was kind of over it. <laughs> I think that was deserved. But yeah, so the penalty system... As far as the like off track penalties and track cuts go, it's honestly not that bad. It's no it's way. not terrible. But as far as the collisions go, I find that the person that is the victim in in the in the collision gets the worst end of the stick a lot of the time and the person that causes it gets away for free. So, yeah, the penalty system it's mostly good. It generally works. But it needs some work, it needs some tweaking, it could use a little bit more. And specifically on the collision side, I think the collision side could really use some work. So that's something about the game. But uh, but let me talk about the multiplayer experience in general. I just wanted to talk about the penalties there because it was so convenient with that, that instance. So the multiplayer side of the game. Well, I guess I'll kind of combine this with the single player part too. So just to go over the single player really quickly, would I get this game for the single player like w would i recommend like getting this game just to do the single player no just like real quickly straight up no if you're just interested in doing like racing against the ai there's probably game like honestly like a need for speed game would probably be more fun to do like the campaign um the forza campaign although i have been having fun with the single player in this game and i have been having fun with the ai races it's not perfect and it could use some work and it's the 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 single player mode is very obviously used as an introduction to multiplayer which is you know big surprise right like that's what you'd expect but it's very obviously that and not much more than that like there's not much more depth to it than that it's very clearly just a tutorial for the multiplayer just supposed to get people familiar with the way the game works the way the cars work stuff like that and it serves its purpose 
uh, very well there. But again, if you're looking for an experience to, you know, be able to race against AI and like do it consistently for a bit, I would not recommend this game for that. This game is all about the multiplayer. The multiplayer is the big step up. Now, when it comes to multiplayer in Forza games, I've done a bit here and there, and it's, I don't know, I've always been torn on the on the multiplayer in the Forza games. Now, on the one hand, doing private lobbies with my friends has always been fun. Uh, that's, that's always been fun. I used to do private lobbies with Matt a lot in Forza 3, fill it up with AI, and it could, it could just be me, him, and AI, uh, do it with other people too, and, um, I don't know, I think, yeah, we played with DJ as well sometimes, and, yeah, it could literally just be us in a lobby of AI, and it could be a ton of fun, so that's what I would do mostly in the past. I did do a little bit of actual multiplayer action occasionally, and it was okay, but Forza Multiplayer was always kind of like a chaotic, like, cheese fest. And it was always, in my opinion, like, not meant to be taken super seriously. What I like about this game's multiplayer is it's the opposite. They take a lot out of iRacing's book in the formatting for the multiplayer in this game. It's kind of like an iRacing light, I would say. And it's done very well. Like, I think it, I think it takes the good things from iRacing and then also is still Forza and still does its own thing. Like, it doesn't completely copy it. It doesn't go, like, too over-competitive crazy. Um, you know, still is is Forza at the end of the day, but also, again, takes those best things from iRacing, combines them into this game's multiplayer, and I think it works very well. I am absolutely freaking loving the multiplayer experience. And part of the reason why I want to do this commentary, this race was a lot of fun, um, and it was just... Uh, about an hour and a half ago, because I think I, I ate and took a little break afterwards, but I knew I had to do this commentary. I knew I had to, you know, get this race out there and talk about the game, because it just hyped me up so much, and I had so many other good races on the night as well. And I'm just having a lot of fun with it. Like, I have not played this much daily of a big release game for, for this long in a while. Like, it's been 10 days now, and I've played every day, I would say, at least two hours a day, generally averaging on, like, four or five hours a day, probably, and on some days getting up there to eight. I've been absolutely playing the hell out of this game, and I just haven't done that. I haven't done that with, like, a new release, like, big title game in in a while. Uh, I mean, even with the COD releases, like, that's the closest thing I could compare it to, but even with those, they've just kind of fallen off pretty quickly. We're, again, like 10 days or so into it, and I'm still playing Forza, and I'm still, like right now I'm recording this, watching this video, looking forward to getting on tomorrow, trying a different car on different tracks in the series, and playing some more. I'm having a ton of fun with the multiplayer, and there's so much potential. Now, it's not perfect. Uh, like I said, the penalty system, there's a lot of crashes. Uh, the... and... <laughs> This is going to sound stupid, but not talking about, like, racing crashes, like, the game, the game crashes. Uh, on Xbox, not too much. It happens a little bit, but on Xbox, not too much. But on PC, it happens quite a bit, and that's the unfortunate thing that I should mention. I'm playing on Xbox, and I'm generally having a pretty good game, uh, or a pretty good time with this game. Sorry, it's it's super late when I'm recording this. On Xbox, and, and my experience has been pretty good for the most part with some, with some things that were not great, but... For mostly pretty good for a new release 2023 AAA game, right? Like, not as bad as most of them would be. However, I will say that I've noticed from paying attention online that the PC version of the game is brutal for some people. It's it's very much a your mileage may vary type of situation. Some people are playing the PC version of the game and doing just fine, and then others are just having an absolutely brutal time with it, even with, like, good hardware, just having an absolutely brutal time with it. So, the the PC version is something where, like, would definitely... I mean, I'd recommend this anyways, because Game Pass is great, but, you know, get Game Pass for a month if you want to try this game and try it, especially if you're doing it on PC, just to make sure... Oh, and that guy just absolutely hooks me on the straightaway right there. That was, that was fantastic. It's okay, I get the last laugh. Um... <laughs> Sorry for the spoiler, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So I would recommend it anyways, like even for the Xbox version. But yeah, get get a month of Game Pass, try it through that because a lot of people are having issues with the PC version. That's definitely a downside of the game. Um, yeah, crashes. Uh, that that's honestly the main issues with the game is just like random performance and stability. Everything else to me, like the handling, I think the handling is great. 
I I love it. It's the best it's ever felt in Forza, in my opinion. Now, yes, is it is it like a sim? You know, is it like eye racing? No, and that's not what it's meant to be. This game is not this. There's a reason why they call this why why people reviewers whatever call this game like a simcade because it is. It's it's got it's like a light sim. There's some sim aspects to it, but for the most part, it is an arcade racer. That's its roots. That's its heart. That is what it is, uh, mostly. And it's very fun. Like, I think it's a really good mix of the two. And I think the handling's great. Again, it's my favorite handling in any Forza so far. I love the new... I, I love the fueling. I love how the fueling plays a role in these races. Like, you saw me take a pit stop this race. You saw that one guy run out of fuel behind me earlier in the race. I love that aspect of it. I love the tire wear. Now, I will say the tire wear is not perfect. Uh, one slight critique I could say is that I wish the tire wear was a little more gradual. The way it works right now is pretty arcadey. Surprise, you know, surprise, surprise. In the sense that it, your tires are like really good for a certain window, and then they hit a certain point where they get wear and they kind of like drop off a cliff. Now, I, I, I actually don't mind it. I like how the tire wear is. It fits for a game like this. I don't think it's terrible, but a little bit of a nitpick. I do wish it was a little more gradual. Like for example, the way it is right now is my tires are white. They're good. Um, eventually they'll be yellow and then they'll be orange and then they'll be red and yellow is kind of like yellow is like your tires are losing a little bit of time but they're still manageable orange is like okay now you're starting to feel it red is like good luck try to get to the damn pits try to get to the finish um i was having some i was i was putting on some entertainment there doing my best stone cold impression for jared um <laughs> i was i was doing some stupid stuff saying some stupid stuff okay it was late i was having fun with it um but yeah so the yellow, orange, red, that's kind of how it works. And again, once it gets to the red, red, you're dead, I guess. I mean, it, it's really brutal. I, I wish it was a little more gradual. I wish there was like a yellow phase one, a yellow phase two, an orange phase one, a fa orange phase two. Like something like that. I wish it was stretched out a little bit more, just a teensy bit more gradual. Because right now it can be very jarring when the tire wear does come in. And, you know, you, you can be running your race and then the tire wear could come in at a point in the track that's really sketch. And again, it, it drops off like very brutally and it's very jarring. And if, if it comes in at an improper time on a certain lap, it can really cost you and, and put you in some situations where like some weird stuff happens like kind of suddenly. So I wish it was a little more gradual, just just a little bit. Um, but overall, I do like that stuff though. I love the pitting. I love that in the multiplayer races, you're encouraged to pit in most of these even like medium length races. I love the different uh, playlists. I, the playlists are great. They have open playlists where you're able to use different types of cars, upgrade them, tune them the way that you want. There's a spotlight playlist there, or, or showcase maybe. Maybe it's called showcase, where it's just one car and everybody can build that car the way they want. What I'm racing right now is one of the spec playlists where you are able to have different setups. You can set up your car a different way than somebody else, but everybody has the same car in terms of like the parts now in this series there's different cars you can choose from but if somebody picks a toyota they're gonna have the same parts on the toyota that i will i have this bentley everybody's gonna have the same parts on the bentley that's how the spec series works the cars will be the same parts on them you can still tune the setup though and i really like these spec series i think these spec series are great um they're a honestly a shit ton of fun um there are other playlists too but, it's, but the spec series are mostly what I've been playing, and man, I just, I freaking love them, and I love how they rotate them out as well, and I think they're doing, like, weekly rotations where they're updating the, yeah, updating the playlist every week, and they seem to have, like, two main playlists that they, they swap the tracks around, swap the length of the races around, but the GT and Touring Car series, those seem to be a mainstay. The one that I'm racing right now, the early LMP, seems to be one that will come around, you know, uh, from time to time, and... I just, man, I, I really loved the Mazda one. That was the, the weekly one uh, last week. And this early LMP one, I'm having, I think I'm having more fun with this one this week. And I just love that. I love having that playlist rotation to look forward to. I love that even when I unlock most of the cars in this game, you know, have raced most of the track, get the, tracks get the hours in there. You know, once the game eventually reaches that point where it will get a little bit stale for me, uh, potentially, I love that there's these different playlists rotating week in and week out, and I can still check, and maybe one week I'll be like, oh, I've never done a series on this car. Here we go. Reason to jump back into Forza Multiplayer for a week. Like, I love the way that they've done it, and, um, 
and it's a lot of fun. Now, that being said, all these positives that I mentioned, what are some things they could do better besides the, the, the performance stuff, like the obvious performance stuff that I already mentioned? Um, the tracks, I... I do think I like the set of tracks that is in release. I just want more. The track, the game could use some more tracks. Uh, there are some absolutely iconic tracks in real life and Forza as well. Just tracks that have been in almost every Forza game that are not in this one at release, and their their presence is really missing. Where is Sebring? Where is Road Atlanta? Where is Daytona? Where is Bathurst? There's four right there, just off the top of my head. Uh, Hockenheim, that'd be another really cool one. You could come up with multiple. Those those are a quick five off the top of my head. That would be really sweet. And like I said, there's plenty more you could think of. I really hope that they do a good job of keeping up. I, I, I want to see a roadmap. I don't know if there's been, like, they've mentioned some brief things and like, oh, this track will come out here. This will be done here. The game, I would really like to see a roadmap a detailed, I'm not talking your ski roadmap come out for this game. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. And it'd be nice to see like what's, you know, what is there to look forward to in the <laughs> I was having, yeah, I was having fun with this one. It'd be nice to see what, what there is to, to look forward to. So I'd like to see a roadmap. I would like to see um, more tracks added because the game's fun as hell to run. Uh, more car, just more of what there is. Again, the, the baseline like foundation of the game is great and and i love it i just want to see more that that's really it um that's right yeah improvements in terms of the the performance improvements in terms of the performance more tracks more cars a road map so we know what we have to look forward to uh you know playlists more playlists keep up with the rotational playlists and you know maybe maybe if they could do like some leagues if they could find a way to do something like that or the tournaments like kind of kind of like how in Modern Warfare uh, 2019, how they did like the gunfight tournaments in game. If they could find a way to do something similar to that with like a three race like series. Because uh, right now with the multiplayer, it puts you in with a completely different lobby uh, from race to race. So for it, it'd be cool if there was a different series where like you join this playlist and it keeps the same lobby of players for like three races and you do like a little mini championship or something. That would be cool. There's just so many damn ideas. There's so many damn ideas. There's so much potential. And um, and yeah, man, I'm loving the game. And I, I prove it with the amount of hours. Like, I've been streaming it. Uh, I've already put... This is the most that I've streamed a game in a minute. Um, besides Resident Evil 4. I guess October's just been a good month for streaming. Re between Resident Evil 4 and this, I've been putting in a lot of hours. And I plan on doing more. I'll be doing more streams. I'll be streaming uh, today. Whenever this is uploaded, I'll definitely be streaming some more of this today. I think the Halo race will be today too, so it'll be split. Uh, but I'll definitely be doing some more of this. God dang it, man. I love this game. Um, so yeah, like, uh, just for people trying to sift through the truth because there's some very positive reviews of this game, there's a lot of really negative reviews out there. Uh, my opinion is that now it depends. Like, on, on console, I'd say it's a pretty safe bet that the game will be fun. Um, on PC, just check and make sure it works well with your PC first. Um, with, with Game Pass because, you know, they need to work on that version. But overall, I am really enjoying the game. I'm really looking forward to the future of it. Is it perfect? No. Is it the best racing game I've ever played? No. Is it the best Forza game I've already played at this very moment? In some aspects, yes, but in, in entirety, no. But I do think that this game has a great foundation, and I'm and I think it very well could be the best Forza game pretty rapidly i don't i don't not like it's gonna take like oh five years like i think it could happen within the year um and it's a great start and man i love it encourage people to try it i hope we get to do something like this i'd love to do i know in the last race we did people were talking about doing more side stuff i would love to do something like that with forza hope you guys enjoyed the video found it informative see you next time